publicly. Second, I've been close with God pretty much my entire life, but it wasn't until I moved out here and everything happened that happened that I have gotten super close with God and realized that, wow, God is actually amazing and I need to start living my life to reflect that. It's really not that deep. It's not all about a man. It stems from an experience I had with a man, but more. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's story is about an influencer that moved state because of her boyfriend that you know the relationship didn't pan out the way she was expecting and now on the internet i've discovered that she moved state because of a man and not because of what she earlier told them and now they're coming out for her a lot of people but i think i love the fact that most of her fans are standing out standing up for her i love that and it also shows that she she has grown or you know being able to create a healthy community in a way and I admire her for that but let me allow you guys to watch i think i'll be placing some of our some of our clips then before we now enter into the cross of the matter buckle up because it's gonna be a long one but it promises to be a good a good video at the end of the video i'll be sharing my thoughts and how i first even came across her nobody actually introduced me to this lady it just came up my on my page on youtube but then let's let's just dive into the video of the day, guys. Story time on why I moved to Houston for a man. Oh, I'm embarrassed, kind of a little bit. It was a learning experience. You might have to watch this in two. Talitha Jane moved to Houston, Texas for a man. And a lot of her followers and a lot of people that actually looked up to Talitha James is kind of upset about the whole situation because Talitha told her followers allegedly that she was moving to Houston because God told her to move to Houston and she was following her dreams of moving to Houston and she was doing it because God told her to. So Talitha released a video the other day stating that she basically moved to Houston for a man as you guys just heard. Not only that, but a lot of Talitha followers are upset because Talitha started stating that she was a woman of God and she was changing her life over and how she basically was following her dreams and listening to God. And that's what God told her to do, which was to move to Houston. And she was moving there as well for other business purposes, Is allegedly, is what they were stating. Some also stated that Talitha Jane told them that she purchased a home in Houston, but instead it turned out to be a high-rise apartment. So they're now looking at Talitha Jane as if she's lying about being a woman of God and as she's lying about her whole her whole life and um it seems like a lot of people are upset about it now I am one of the ones that follow Talitha Jane because I love her and I do understand where she's coming from and as far as it go with her lying to her followers I don't think that she should have done that I think she should have been open and honest about it in the beginning so a lot of people would not be upset about it but that's all I have been seeing on my for you page is Talitha Jane moving to Houston for a man and lied stating that she moved to Houston because God told her to and told her that it was time for a change. So um, comment your thoughts below on this whole Talitha Jane moving to Houston for a man situation. And let me know you guys' thoughts on the whole situation. And also, again, I love Talitha Jane. So when I start following her, she's one of my girls. But girl, do your thing. Comment your thoughts below. I wanted the story time on why I moved to Houston for a man. Oh, I'm embarrassed. You know, I don't think the problem is you move to another state for a man. The girlies are not mad about that. The girlies are mad because you sold them a dream. You sold them this lifestyle that you spoke to God about this and you're making a change for yourself and you're moving to this whole next state because you really and truly believe like this is something that you need to do to better yourself and to get closer to yourself to start your healing journey. But the whole you into not being your own person anymore. He now hovered over your life like a God and you got it confused with the ultimate God. Baby girl, don't ever get that twisted. God didn't lead you to that decision. That man did. That man did. And I feel sorry for you that you've been fooled that way. God, did, that man led you there. And now you stand alone without that man needing to navigate how to live life again. Because every move and decision that you made was based on your man, your God. I usually don't comment on what goes on with creators. I don't know if y'all lack empathy or the presence of God yourselves, but questioning someone's relationship with God because of the situation they're in is, is very problematic.
Most people find God because they were stuck in situations they thought they wouldn't be able to get out of. Relationships they thought they wouldn't be able to get out of. Jobs they thought they couldn't walk away from. No matter how many red flags you ignored about that job, about that person, about that friend, about whatever, you still decided to continue because you did not see those red flags. Or the red flags turned pink sometimes and it got real pretty. But to say someone is trying to go towards God to find a man, I'm trying to figure out what is wrong with that. God lets you try everything your way first. He can give you all these different types of directions and clues and and, and show you all the red flags within someone. But eventually you have to see them yourself. And God lets you see them yourself. We all know God has the ability to stop anything. If he feel like it's going to really put you in harm's way, he will stop it immediately. Try to fly to a man you have no business dealing with and watch that flight get canceled. Just because that girl went to a different city because of a man doesn't mean she stayed because of a man. You don't know what type of opportunities were brought to her by being in that place. You don't know the people she met while being there as well. And guess what God also showed her when she got down there? That she needs a relationship with him, God, in order to find her man of God. That's why God lets you walk away and God lets you come back. He lets you have things your way. And when you realize that he was right and that's not for you, he lets you come back. He didn't want to teach you that lesson, but you had to learn that lesson to know that that is not what you want in life. In this regard to anything, you go back to God, you repent, you apologize. I wasn't hearing you clearly, but now I hear you now. I want a job led by God. I want friendships led by God. I want a man led by God. So let me pour into you wholeheartedly with, with everything I have so that you can fix me. So that you can fix me. And help me learn how to love myself more. When it's time for me to have kids, have those romantic and platonic relationships, have the job I want, that I'm in it correctly, that I'm giving it all of me through you. It's that fucking simple. People come on this app to be vulnerable in hopes of helping someone else learn their lesson and not do certain things. Now y'all throwing back in her face everything that she's been through, with, whether it's going to get her car wrapped or anything. Do you think she's going to do the same thing twice? I know people that let their cousin do their tents. Y'all let y'all friends practice on y'all heads every damn day and that shit look a mess. She tried to put money in somebody else's pocket, helping them, and they did her dirty. Is she going to do it again? No. Everything is a lesson learned. I know two bitches that comment on this controversy that really need to shut the fuck up, for real. Ha! <laughs> I know I'm not crazy. Does it take y'all like a split second longer to scroll past a live? Or is it just me? Like if I, if I see a regular video, I can scroll like that. But if it's a live, I gotta... That's how I gotta scroll past a live. Mm, is it safe space? I'm ready to unpack to Lisa Jane. Not gonna yay. Not gonna yay. Are we really surprised she moved to Houston for a man? I'm not the type to see one video and now I have to form an opinion on it. No, I do my deep dive in my research and I'm here to bring y'all all all the facts. All the commentary right now is a little split. She's either male-centered or give her grace. I'ma let y'all decide. So I'ma tell y'all that I saw her video a few days ago and I did not watch it, y'all. I knew I needed to come back for it because something about her just gives, she is a lot to unpack. So I then started seeing people's reactions and I'm like, hmm, okay, it's been a few days and today I decided to start rolling out and watching the videos. So before I watched the current video, the first video I actually saw was a video back in March of 2023. It starts off with a flashback of her crying in her car in 2022. She lets us know she names the guy Kevin. She knew him since 2019. They went to college together. And that video pretty much just ends with her saying that I'm setting clear boundaries. So the next video I come across was in June of 2023, right? So this video pretty much unpacks how she finds out that he has a girlfriend via Twitter. But somehow, she still ends up giving him the time of day of talking it out. They they come to terms that they were not being intentional with their dating. She ends up coming to Houston for a weekend just to kind of test out to see what the relationship would be like, right? But when she gets back home, he lets her know that he's going to pretty much choose the ex-girlfriend over her at that point she's blocked on instagram right so here i am that video ends i go and watch the current video she pretty much explains all of that but she thinks she's slick and she tries to trip us up why did she change his name to aaron as if she has not been telling us the story about this man for years so of course this video trips us all up because you said that you would move to houston for your spiritual journey says how did you end up moving to houston for a man that kept choosing his ex over you y'all she says that when the time is right he'll come back home like but he was never your man y'all were never in a relationship you never got past a situational stage so from here i gotta get the timeline so she moves to houston in september of 2023 
I come across a video in November of 2023, and this is where she pisses me off. Because, sis, why did you now change his name to Steven when he's been Kevin to us? In your most recent video, he was Aaron. And you say that Steven, oh, y'all used to date way back when some old stuff he ends up inviting you out you end up out with his ex-girlfriend who sets you up in the car letting you know that she knows that you've been dating him outside of back and forth of them dating and you really sat there and try to act like you didn't know that he's been choosing back and forth between y'all this entire freaking time kevin steven aaron like do you see how all of these relate like the signs were there the red flags were there freaking his red flags were there because he really set you up why were you and the ex-girlfriend in the same space i think talitha takes delulu to a whole nother level because you moved to houston thinking you was gonna finally get that relationship of your dreams with that man who was already has not been choosing you and it wasn't until February of this year when you finally realized that you're going to set the boundaries that you've been telling us that you've been setting for the last year. So the question at hand, are we really surprised she moved to Houston for a man? No, <laughs> not at all. The signs were there. She's been talking about this same man for so many years. And she's been taking us along on this story. She's a preacher's daughter. And then every one of her solo date videos always results in some kind of conversation about a man. She's always crying about a man. Come on. Aaron, Steven. And we all know that most people that be on their spiritual journeys, it's always because that relationship and that man did not work out. Come on, let's clock it. What's tea? What she needs to realize is coming on social media with the spiritual journey God card is very much a slippery slope because you now have followers who follow you for this spiritual journey and you wait a whole year later to tell us oh y'all remember when i said i moved to houston because god told me to well god told me to move out but i decided on my own recognizance to move for that man no ma'am you cannot do that it's not going to transfer well that's not going to sit well with people like to be a person who feels though like things don't happen by chance god places at my feet this is my purpose this is for me you can't come on here and say god told you to go to houston and now all of a sudden god didn't tell you to go to houston now you don't really want to be in houston anymore and the only ounce that i'm willing to give her grace for is because she is young she's what i think she just turned 24. so what i've learned on this app is a lot of these girls is young and dumb with time, maturity will come. They'll learn from their mistakes. I just need you to learn from it when you're telling us that you're learning from it instead of continue going over it and over and over again. So all in all, overall, I don't think we are surprised, more disappointed because sis, you lied to us. And that just doesn't make people sit well. You're known for being transparent. I need you to be honest. As a follower of Talitha, and if you follow Talitha, we all know that woman wants a man bad. Like, real, real bad. Like, real bad. And if you've been watching Talitha's content this past year, it's very self-love driven, you know, Christian content, all of that. But she still has this rhetoric of, like, a man won't do this, so I'm going to do it myself. A man won't do that. It's just, like, is that the only reason why you're doing shit? Because a man won't do this, that, and the third? Like, is, is this is this the last resort? Like, if you had a man, would this not be the forefront of your mind? And I think we really have to take that away from the reason we do things. Do things because it's healthy for you. And I'm not saying that she doesn't know that, but the way she talks, it always gives. She's doing shit because she don't have a man. And she feel like if she does, that, the, it, she thinks it's a formula to get that. And then she comes on here, does a story time about the real reason she moved to Houston. When you didn't told us, oh, God, and told you this whole time, you didn't move out here for this fucking man. You could have been very transparent about that. That's one why I said the well, other time I made a video about her. She needed to keep her journey offline. And, you know, just keep it cool. Don't overcompensate for the shit you don't have. Be grateful for what you do have and what you want and want to have will come. About the whole Talitha Jane situation. Um, me personally, I feel like she is getting bullied because we all have, as women, we all have made decisions that weren't really great decisions when it came to a man. Um, and then we learn from it and we grow from it. 
So I think the people who are judging her and trying to bash her and make her feel bad for making this decision to move or whatever the case was, I feel like, come on now, I'm pretty sure the females in the comments that's bashing her, I'm pretty sure you have done something like that or it might not be to the extreme or it might be worse than that. So I feel like give people a little grace and then to see her get on here and cry and her eyes were like swollen. It just made me feel so bad. So, and you know, with today's time, our mental health is like everything. So just give people grace. Don't judge anyone. Don't bash anyone. And yeah, let's just do better as a whole, especially the black community, because I saw it was a lot of black women trying to put her down in the comments. Like we just have to do better. That's it. I think Talitha did what a lot of us should do. Hear me out. Dang. If your goal is not marriage and children to be partnered, this advice is not for you. You might as well keep on scrolling. Cause I literally am right there, which I am on your side. But I got to speak to a lot of the think pieces that I'm seeing, right? I don't know, Talitha. I'm not her target audience. I really haven't seen much of her content come down my timeline. I'm just seeing a lot of the discourse. I feel that Talitha was not wrong to do what she did. And I say this because as a woman, it is a lot harder to move, pick up and move pounds on you, <laughs> a little bit of age. And then on top of that, the bounce and quality of men tend to dwindle as older as you get as well. I don't know how old Talitha is, but I'm just going to guess it's somewhere young, which to me is like 25 and below. There's no better time to move than while you was young, childless, ain't divorced, got to start a husband. I'm not saying that it's impossible to move when you have those things. So please don't even try that. I'm just speaking on the discourse we are now putting out, which is don't move for love. Like my, like this girl said, and I actually reposted it. Some of us has done worse in the name of love. <laughs> we have done worse and it failed. And I know a lot of people will say, what if it failed? What if it works? I feel like when I was younger, I wish I was a little bit more adventurous and I wish I would have followed my heart more than I followed my desire to make a dollar or more than I followed the voices behind me telling me what I should and shouldn't do. I'm not even a lover girl. Anybody who knows me know I am far from a lover girl. What you do with your own life, but I don't think Talitha was wrong. Talitha Jane, let's talk about it. I really wasn't even going to talk about it until I just seen her video of her on here crying. And I ain't like that. You know why? Because anytime I usually see her content pop up on my timeline, it's very positive. She seems to be a very sweet girl. And I like to see young black girls who doing well for themselves, enjoying their life. And that's usually what I see from her, right? And seeing her on here crying and knowing that she let y'all get to her because she came on here and tried to be vulnerable with y'all and tell you the truth behind why she moved and it was behind a man and i guess evidently prior to this she made it seem like it was a spiritual journey which y'all act like those two things can't exist at the same time because they can but anyway even if it wasn't that and it was only because of a man let's not act like most of y'all ain't doing much worse when that phone closed right out here putting your name on leases for men apartments cars cash app and men paying more attention to men than you do your kids like, you do a lot behind men. Men are a lot of y'all women's main focus, yet you can get on this internet and act as if you ain't somewhere revolving your whole life around men and acting as if you a better woman than her when she voluntarily told you this information because she didn't have to tell you. She was being vulnerable, vulnerable and honest with y'all and telling you this. And this is the reason why I don't tell y'all nothing. You don't need to know none of my business because this is what y'all do. When somebody is vulnerable with you and tell you the truth and tell you what's going on, you flip on them, you use it against them, and then you try to turn on them, right? I hope that she don't let y'all get to her too much because she needs to understand that the women who coming at her are the main ones who doing much worse offline when that phone closed. They can sit on here and judge you and tell you what you shouldn't have did, but they do much worse. And the reason why I can't say nothing about this woman is because she took full accountability. In the video where she talked about moving behind a man, she took full accountability for the things that she did wrong in the situation and she learned from it. What more can you ask from somebody, right? 
but y'all be doing too much. Y'all been dog piling a lot on everybody, right? Y'all find somebody who name is trending and you try to build your following off of dog piling off of them. And a lot of them, they end up on here crying like she did. But I hope she don't let y'all get to her like that. I hope to see her back on my timeline, doing her day in the lives, doing her outfits of the days and being back positive and the woman of God that she is. Y'all are terrible. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of confused as to why everybody is surprised that Talitha admitted the real reason why she moved to Houston was because of a man. Everything about her content screams very much male-centered for the male gaze. Even her spiritual content. Honestly, especially her spiritual content. I don't know what it is about the girlies entering their like spiritual era, but as soon as they go down that like hole of oh i'm just gonna start getting in touch with god you know i need to build my relationship with god and it's like intense like it's a sharp turn from where they used to be it is almost always concerning a man whether it was heartbreak or the type of god that they want wants that type of woman or they're trying to be married by a certain age it's almost always centered around a man so i'm not really sure why we're all shook but i do think that that type of rhetoric is very dangerous like especially in this age of people easily becoming influenced by little things you know what i'm saying like we're watching people who are relatable to us achieving such goals that used to be so far but are now closer in reach and for her to get up there and say that initially the reason why she moved to houston was because the Lord basically led her to make this decision to now saying, oh, the real the real reason why I, I came here was because of a man. It's kind of dishonest. Like, and uh, I think that's my real problem is it was very dishonest. Not so much that it was surprising, but more so, girl, why are you lying? <laughs> Influencers have feelings too. Somebody please say it with me. Influencers have feelings too. You people. I don't know if it's the followers that used to brainwash people and making people think that we are not real human beings. We are real human beings. Oh. We are real human beings. So all those things that people are always saying, church, 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 in the comments, all those keyboard warriors in the comments, I don't know how people are doing this. Because me, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, oh, I've not seen questionable videos on my uh, For You page. But for me to use my own God-given hands to type something negative that is going to probably ruin that person's day, I have never done that, swear. The only difference is that we decided to just post more than the average person or like share more than the average person. You know what I'm saying? And it's only honestly because we feel like, okay, somebody might be able to relate. Let's not act like we have not made mistakes in this his life can we not act like we've never acted a little daft before like why are people doing why are people so mean like you guys you guys turn into such bullies it's so scary like literally y'all love 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 oh my god i love you oh my god first early oh my god first to like first to comment until one little thing happens and then y'all are pow, 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 pow. like we had never been cool before jesus it's scary man it's scary how the internet turns on you like so quick so easily like especially with something so vulnerable like it's crazy to me girl i'll be praying for you you already hate it in this in the city and then they're already doing all this extra stuff like i know it's going i know it's a hard time i'm i'm praying for you girl so you know how tiktok fbis can be they went to dig out a guy that, that they are assuming or they are speculating is the man that's causing all this, you know, all this palaver all over the place. The guy came out to do a video saying he is not the one. But the comment under the video, guys, people are saying he's the one. He must be the one. But let me, let me, like, guys, watch the video before I want to share my thoughts. Hey, yo. I'm not that nigga. I'm not that guy. I'm not that man she's going to be here since long. Y'all drag my name through the streets right now. We I really should be trying to buy a home. That man. What do you guys think? Do you, do you believe or do you think this is likely the man? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section. I don't know about, I, I really do not know much about the guy, so I, I can't say anything. And it's been a while I actually watched him. I don't think I've ever seen talita's video this year this 2024 but i first saw her i first discovered her channel in 2022 when i was just starting up on youtube i didn't even know anything about you know being an influencer and all that but the moment i, I watched her video the first video i watched back then was you know how to take pictures of yourself instagram pictures of yourself 
and when i watch i think from then i now started watching some of her other videos and i sort of i like the vibe i was getting from her videos in my head i was like oh look, this girl seems to be young she already has it like she already has a figure she already knows how to make money with her talent and all that and i love the fact that she was also showing people how to do it and all and guys I must say that after watching our videos to a large extent, it sort of challenged me to want to do better because here's a girl I'm way older than already figured it out in life. And I just got to even discover today that she's 23. Guys, 23. And look at the, the milestone she's able to she has been able to achieve. Guy, when I was 23, I was still struggling now to enter a university. Ah no 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 we need to give her some flags many of the people you know throwing stones at her they that they, they can't even be able to do what she's done some of them if you even hear the kind of mistakes they've done in their life <laughs> you you would cover you would have a second embarrassment on that behalf and again she's still young she's still, she's still figuring out life so let's give her some slack she's still figuring out life and She's been able to make money early in life. So she's bound to, you know, make a lot of mistakes. By the time she clocks 25, 27, 30, her life will be a whole lot better. I just hope and pray she has a good people around her. You know, she still has a good community around her, people that will hold her accountable. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think, you know, this mistake is too stupid? And again, I don't, I don't even see bad that a girl is moving because of a man what if she in her head she was seeing the man like oh this is somebody I, I would love to you know spend the rest of my life with so i don't mind you know making this life huge life change there's nothing bad there do you know what i'm i'm, I'm what i'm just saying thinking had it been this move worked out in the way she wanted and she came out and did a video about it oh i moved guys i moved state because of a man and it worked guy girls i'm telling you do it move move from that town you are move your state your husband is in another state you're not gonna you know that kind of thing it would have been trending you will not see guests corning walls around it making videos around it how you how you need to move your husband might be in the, the next state waiting for you but you are stuck in the state where you are because you don't like change are, are you guys envisioning videos like that so because it did not work that's why people are not sitting in the house throwing stones we need to you know put ourselves in some some shoes at times this one me are giving i'm giving her some slime because she's 23 for crying out loud 23 i don't mean she's i don't even see this thing has been a mistake it's not even a mistake somebody moving it's not even a stupid mistake somebody, somebody moving people have done it a lot People are still doing it even as we are talking. So I don't even know why people are coming for her and saying, oh, you need to dissent that man the way people live around their life around men. To me, that's toxicity. People need to stop, you know, doing giving that kind of advice. For the fact that it does not work for her does not mean it will not work for somebody else. So what we need to be telling ourselves is, or better see the question we need to be asking ourselves is what what are the lessons here what do we need to learn here and what do i need to learn here so that this kind of thing will not happen to me all shall all, all those girls are doing in my 20s what i've learned in my 20s this is another example to learn you get you get so <laughs> Well, let's cut out some slack. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think this is a stupid, a stupid mistake, or you, or you think it was, you know, something she was courageous for even making that kind of move? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.